Hi, good day. My name is Masi Andibaling from BSN2 Widenbach. For today's video, I am going to perform about hot seats bath. But what is the definition? It is a local application of moist heat in which the buttocks, lower trunk, or the pelvic area is immersed in warm water. It can help relieve pain and discomfort in the perineal area, such as after childbirth or surgery, and can increase circulation to the tissues, promoting healing. There are four objectives. Number one, to relieve congestion in the pelvis. Number two, to relieve the nasmus or ineffectual and painful straining at stool and in urinating. Number three, to relieve painful hemorrhoids. And number four is to relieve pain after cystoscopy, vaginal hysterectomy, vulvectomies, or excision of the vulva, and episiotomy during childbirth and hemorrhoidectomy. And now, let us proceed to the procedures. Step number one, check physician's order for seat bath. After that, identify the patient. Positive identification of the patient is essential to ensure the intervention is administered to the correct patient. After identifying the patient, explain the procedure to the patient. Explanation relieves anxiety and facilitates cooperation. Next step is to close curtains around the bed and close door to room if possible. This ensures the patient's privacy. The next step is to perform hand hygiene and put on clean gloves. Hand hygiene deters the spread of microorganisms and gloves prevent exposure to blood and body fluids. Next step is to assemble equipment in bathroom. Organization facilitates performance of tasks. Next is to raise lid of toilet. Place bowl of seeds bath with drainage ports to rear and infusion port in front in the toilet. Fill bowl of seeds bath about halfway full with tepid to warm water. Seeds bath will not drain appropriately if placed in toilet backwards. Tepid water can promote relaxation and help with edema. Warm water can help with circulation. Next is to remove the patient's clothing and any dressings that are present. Assess the area being treated. Next step is to clump tubing on bag. Fill bag with same temperature water as mentioned above. Hang bag above patient shoulder height on or IV pole. If bag is hung lower, the rate of flow will not be sufficient and water may cool too quickly. Next is to assist patient to sit on toilet and provide any extra draping if needed. Insert tubing into infusion port of seat bath. Slowly unclump tubing and allow seat bath to fill. If tubing is placed into seat bath before patient sits on toilet, patient may trip over tubing. Filling that seat bath ensures that the tissue is submerged in water. Next is to clump tubing when seat bath is full. Instruct patient to open clump when water in bowel becomes cool. Ensure that call bell is within reach and instruct patient to call if she feels light, headed, or dizzy or has any problems. Instruct patient not to try standing without any assistance. Cool water may produce hypothermia and patient may become lightheaded due to vasodilation so call bell should be within reach. Next is to place a cold compress or ice cap at the back of the neck or on the head of patient. This helps alleviate feeling of weakness. Less amount of blood in the head will cause the faint and ice cap is applied to cause the blood vessels to constrict so that blood will remain on the head. When patient is finished in about 15 to 20 minutes, help patient stand and gently pat perineal area dry. Patient may be lightheaded and dizzy due to vasodilation and patient should not stand alone. Bending over to dry self may cause patient to fall. Next is to assist patient to bed or chair. The nurse should ensure that call bell is within reach. Next is to empty and disinfect seat bath bowl according to agency policy. After that, perform hand hygiene. Proper equipment cleaning and hand hygiene deters the spread of microorganisms.